lunch here that we can hand out. But um, even if we want to have them on Main Street, I just, what if we want to move to Cherry Street? They do make them, I have them here where you can just take them down. Of course, I'm talking, somebody's going to have to do that. Right. Somebody's going to have to move. Um, but if they're solar, it's not that big of a deal. Right, and that's what they all are. We all look at solar, right? I do believe Correct. that's the biggest thing. But uh, that's my big thing, and I, and I believe in the yellow. Like Mary said, we all kind of had our different ideas. Um, just because I think it stands out, I definitely like the one that looks like a radar is flashing. Right. Some people think it's a picture being taken or it's a radar. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah absolutely. And I talked to a couple people at work that, that deals with this. And, um, you know, yellow stands out as caution. The flashing makes you definitely stop. Um, you know, we tried it on 78, but it didn't work because people went faster. We had them on a tailgate. It was a speed limit. So, you know, but they did say, on the back roads it works, you know. So you don't want to put them like where somebody can go 100 miles an hour, like on a straightaway, because people are going to go, the younger generation is going to go fast. Yeah, like I said, the best so, example locally is between high bridge and, yes. and that does slow people down. It does, it really does. Yeah. You put them in the right spot. Like you, you see brake lights. I mean, I would be, a, honestly, I would be a fan of um, having multiple poles where you, well, could, do, the you could just move them around. Right. Right. The challenge so, is though, I just, I would caution because we ran into this when I had moved forward with the other two, is we didn't have the DPW right. to move them. And they have to conform to DOT requirements when they're reinstalled. So I also wanted to let you know that the ones that Jim found, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be presumptuous, ours, I didn't research yours, but the ones that Jim and I found, you can adjust the lights, the, both the strobing light as well as the speed light, okay. um, from red to yellow to white, Thanks. which I thought was interesting. Yeah. And they're all relatively the same price per yeah. unit, which is about twenty four hundred dollars. I mean, how complicated it is to install? Is it something that they're not? Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No. They're like screws and bolts, yeah. boom, 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 you're done. And then so, the program is just a Bluetooth. It's like you yep. use your phone. But it's passive. It's not recording anything. It's just, yep. it's, a, it's an indication yeah. of the drive. Right. Correct. So my thought is this. We've had numerous, you know, we, every so often we get numerous complaints about people's beliefs being on Brunswick Avenue, for instance. So you could put a pole there. You get the same complaint about charity. You get the same complaint about Main Street. So if you were to put up three or four poles in town and then move the sign around periodically, mm -hmm. that would be my part. I mean, yeah, because not only that, but honestly, it would, it would probably be um, a big help for the state police as well. Have you, they record by any chance? They do. So with that, I'm, I'm not prepared to discuss that because that needs to be discussed with the state police. Okay. And, Kevin, yeah. and all of the units too. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not talking about record no, I license can't. plates. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, talking about the act. You know, you know, how many people are actually speeding, or is it actually a minor kind of thing? Yeah, I don't want to have Alice's rattle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they can record speed. They can re record volume of traffic. Mm -hmm. They can record um, what else? It's all Bluetooth data collection. Yeah. And it's cloud data based. That's that's I think so that's it's and all of them, you know, all three of the choices that we made. So to your point is if we had two signs and four or five poles, yes. bounce them on. Exactly. And like the mayor said, it also will be the time frame. So if like Mary keeps saying the state police, so you right, know, you start to adjust your schedule on that, sure. Right, if we eight, nine in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Or know where to put the Joe, anything legal wise from uh, capturing that data, you know? It's nothing. It's it's advisory only. Yep. Yeah. That's, That's all correct. It's all time. But depending on how yeah. it reacts, it does frighten people. Yeah. Which is what you try to do. Yeah. Right. Other than local residents who know that it doesn't do it. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Because but they're hoping that they're gonna drive slow with their own community. So, so, so that's your next steps. You guys are going to narrow it down. Um, no, we are least. asking council to look at the options tonight, and then I would like to discuss them with the state police, so that we can move forward. Well, I mean, well, I think the plan's a good idea. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think the plan's a good idea. 
So two signs, two signs. Rotate the third, the old one. We can rotate on Brunswick. Mm -hmm. Is that acceptable? I think that's great. Okay. But it and still then, works. so I just want to throw this out there. Do you guys have a preference in so far? Do you gentlemen, excuse me, have a preference, Emily, um, a preference for the sign color? So is yellow or white? Remember, they're under a white speed limit sign. I'd go with yellow personally. Yellow. That's my personal feeling as well, but I'd like to get a consensus. I, mean, I, I kind of think yellow just stands out a little bit more, but you know, okay. I, might be something you guys have to say. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a yeah. yeah. so different. Yeah. So, Mary, you're aware that the sign that works is not solar, yeah, it's not electric. It's powered. It's powered. So that's not going to be able to, if you're planning on continuing the use of that sign, that's not going to be, you're not going to be able to move that. No, this sign is yellow. Oh, I'm, I'm misunderstanding you then, because I thought you said, so are you purchasing three or two? We're purchasing two. Okay. The sign itself is yellow. Right. The numbering is, and that is solar. Okay. And that is white, yellow, or red. Oh, oh okay, okay. So, and then the strobing is white, yellow, or red. I'm okay. sorry, the strobing is white. So are you oh, planning on using the sign on Main Street that is currently working? That one is the one that I would suggest rotating on Brunswick. But I will leave that to the state police. But you can't, that's my point. That's what she said. Oh, that's so, so, so it, it's required. It's hard wired in that. I, I think so. you can achieve what you were wanting just by moving the ones on Main Street. These two they were buying and did, getting rid of. To, the two, to, yeah. The, the two really ones. Speeding is not, I live on Brunswick and speeding is generally not an issue. And I've walked up and down and talked to my neighbors. It, so I would well, prefer to have fewer signs. Not for nothing, but when I walked last year, and I think Jim can attest to this, that was one of the biggest complaints was Main and Brunswick. Yeah. And, and I have that list. Because I get complaints all the time with Brunswick, you know, with um, parents taking the kids to school. That so was the whole I, I think all they're suggesting, Marlene, is that a pole be inserted in the ground and then you move the sign there. Rotation.